So in the previous lessons, we looked at the various ways in differentiating a function of the form y equals f of x. That is differentiating functions of the form where y is expressed explicitly in terms of x. Now examples of these functions, we can talk of y equals x squared plus 2 or better still we can say y equals 2x 2x plus 4 so these are called explicit functions because y is expressed explicitly in terms of x now we need to understand that sometimes functions are not given in this form however they are given in a more complicated form in which it is sometimes difficult or better still impossible to express y explicitly in terms of x and such functions are called implicit functions implicit functions examples of these functions are x squared plus 2xy plus y square equals 0 and also 2x plus sine xy equals 1. Now these are called implicit functions. Now in today's video, what you are going to do is you are going to learn how to find the derivative of an implicit function. Now let's start off with this example. Let's say we are given the function x square y plus y square x equals 6. So how do we differentiate this implicit function? Now you realize that we have two terms here that is x square y and then y square x. These are products of two variables. So we have x square times y and then plus we have y square times x. So to find the derivative of this function, first of all, we are going to differentiate term by term. And then because they are the products of two variables, we are going to use the product rule. So with the product rule, let's say if we have y equals u times v, then we say that dy dx is equal to, you hold v, you differentiate u with respect to x, plus you hold u and then you differentiate v, with respect to x. So that is exactly what we are going to do. So for x square y, first of all, we hold y and then we differentiate x square with respect to x. So that is 2x plus we hold x square and then we differentiate y with respect to x. Now when you differentiate y, you are going to multiply the derivative by dy dx so the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 1 and then because it is y we are differentiating we are going to multiply that by dy dx now let's continue so next for y square x we are going to hold x we differentiate y square and that becomes 2y and then we multiply that by dy dx Next, we hold y square and then we differentiate x and that is 1 equals derivative of a constant is 0. So let's simplify this. So we are going to have 2xy plus x square dy dx plus 2xy dy dx plus y square equals 0. Now at this point, we are going to group terms containing dy dx on one side. So we have x square dy dx plus 2xy dy dx that is equal to, we are going to transpose y square and then 2xy to the right hand side. So that becomes negative y square minus 2xy. Now on the left hand side, let's factor out dy dx. 
so dy dx into bracket x square plus 2xy and that is equal to on the right hand side we are going to factor out negative y so we have negative y into bracket y plus 2x now because we want to find the y dx we are going to divide through that is both sides by x square plus 2xy x square plus 2xy so that we have dy dx equals negative y into bracket y plus 2x divided by as the denominator we can factor out x so we have x outside inside we have x plus 2y so basically this is how to differentiate implicit functions now let's move on to the next question so for example 2 so given the function x cube plus y cube minus 9xy equals 0 now let's try to differentiate this function so we are going to differentiate term by term so let's start off with x cube so the derivative of x cube with respect to x is 3x square plus we differentiate y cube and then we have 3y square and because we are differentiating y we are going to multiply that by dy dx minus we factor out 9 or we can keep 9 and then we focus on the products of x and then y so using the product rule first of all we are going to hold y we differentiate x we get 1 plus we hold x we differentiate y we also get 1 but this time we multiply by dy dx the derivative of a constant is 0 so we still have 0 next we have 3x square plus 3y square dy dx minus let's multiply 9 or negative 9 across so we have negative 9 times y times 1 that becomes negative 9y and then this also becomes negative 9x dy dx equals 0 now let's group terms containing dy dx on one side so we can have 3y square dy dx minus 9x dy dx equals we are going to transpose negative 9y and then 3x square to the right hand side so we are going to have 9y minus 3x square now at this point you realize that 3 is common to each of the terms in this equation so we can choose to divide through each of the terms by 3 so 3 cancels out 3 we are left with y square dy dx minus 3 goes here once 3 goes here 3 times we have 3x dy dx equals 3 goes here once 3 goes here 3 times we have 3y minus x square so we factor out dy dx on the left hand side we have y square minus 3x in the bracket that is equal to 3y minus x square so we divide through by y square minus 3x y square minus 3x and then we have dy dx to be equal to 3y minus x square divided by y square minus 
3x. So to the next question. So this time we have the function y square minus x square equals sine xy. So first of all, let's focus on finding the derivative of y square and then x square. So that becomes 2y dy dx minus 2x equals. Now we are going to differentiate sine xy. So you know that if you want to differentiate a trig function, first of all, you are going to tackle the argument. Now this time we have the product of two variables x and y. So in finding the derivative of x, y, we are basically going to use the product rule. So first of all, we are going to hold y. We differentiate x, which is 1, plus we hold x. We differentiate y, which is 1 times dy dx times when you differentiate sign you have cos so we have cos xy so next we have 2y dy dx minus 2x equals let's multiply cos xy across so we have y times 1 which is y so y cos xy plus cos xy times x dy dx so that is x dy dx times cos xy we have dy dx here also dy dx here so let's transpose this to the left hand side and then negative 2x to the right hand side so we have 2y dy dx minus x dy dx cos xy equals y cos xy plus 2x so we factor out dy dx inside of the bracket. We have 2y minus x cos xy equals y cos xy plus 2x. So we divide through by 2y minus x cos xy 2y minus x cos xy therefore we have dy dx to be equal to y cos xy plus 2x divided by 2y minus x cos xy now to the last example we have the function x plus tan xy equals zero so first of all we differentiate x we have one plus we are going to differentiate tan xy so like we did in the previous example first of all we differentiate the argument using the product rule so we are going to hold y we differentiate x that is one plus we hold x we differentiate y that is one times dy dx and then when you differentiate tan you have six square so times six square x y equals when you differentiate a constant you have zero so let's multiply six square x y across so we have one plus y 
sec square x y plus x dy dx sec square x y equals zero so we have x dy dx therefore we transpose one plus y sec square x y to the right hand side therefore we have x dy dx sec square x y to be equal to negative one minus y sec square x y now at this point we are going to divide through by x sec square x y so we divide through by x sec square x y x sec square x y so that we have dy dx to be equal to now we can factor out negative one so that we have inside of the bracket one plus y sec square x y all divided by x sec square x y so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye